Hi guys, it's Ricky and this is Ricky Reveals. So, um, I'm gonna do a general and then maybe later I'll actually do Libra. Grief. So someone is dealing with grief. The overall message, the overall energy of this reading is grief. Those who sow in tears shall reap with joy, shouts of joy. Psalms 126.5. So January 26th, February 6th, June 5th, or May 9th is significant. Let your steadfast love become my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Psalms 119.76. So November 9th, July 6th, September 11th, June 7th, Come to me and all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest from your souls. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 29. So uh, November 28th and 29th, February 9th, February 8th, April 17th, May 11th. August 2nd, every valley shall be raised up, raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged place is a plain. Isaiah 44. So April 4th, my heart aches, Father, and I cannot bear the weight of this sorrow. I need the comfort only you can provide. How can I deal with the sadness and loss? Even so, your promises of life are and restoration. I need your great strength to bear up under this pain. For though I know you promised to regenerate for a short while, I must withstand this loss. Father, I am not strong enough to bear the burden. Stand with me or I also will succumb to the darkness. Lord, your light is a beacon to me. Do not forsake me in this hour. I will stand by your great strength. And I will praise you with a willing voice because of your great comfort. Can you ask God for help when you need his comfort? God is the only comfort. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. And God is the only one we can trust with all of our heart. I encourage anyone who's dealing with loss, sadness, and grief to turn to him now. And to ask him to show you who you can trust in the physical, who's your true friends, and turn to the that those people or that person to help you through this, because someone's having it really rough right now. Uh, I am playing throat chakra meditation music because I feel like someone needs help opening up and asking someone, telling someone the truth, and asking them for help because they don't feel worthy. Let's get some zodiacs on this. Aries. Virgo. Taurus. I had a short reading uh, not too long ago. It was talked about an Aries, a Virgo, and a Taurus who came together to go against a Capricorn. And I'm really kind of feeling like it's one of the three of these people who uh, really wants to reach out to a Capricorn and they just, they're too ashamed to do it. And they really do need this Capricorn's help. Sagittarius, Pisces, and Capricorn. Star Seek Oracle. Deep Cellular Healing and Whale and Orca Elders. Someone needs someone needs help with physical and emotional healing. 
Uh, share your song, Frequency of Sound, Diving Deep. Share your voice. Share your talents. Share the gifts God gave you. Someone really needs needs what you have inside of you. Someone really needs healing. But you can't get... Close mouths don't get fed. Again, while I'm playing through throat chakra meditation. Earth, learn how to be human in the world, but not of it. The seas of Minnetaka, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. And messenger, Cyrus, ener serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. So if this person would just reach out to whoever, I know I said, Capricorn a minute ago, but a Capricorn did come out in the Zodiac, so but however it resonates if you're resonating as one of the people who um, needs the healing and needs to reach out if you would just do it you'll restore your bond and your connection with this person time for rest is over time for separation is over, it's time to come back together and get some work done and a part of that work is your healing. And I think there's healing on both sides. But the only way for the healing process to begin is for you to reach out. And the problem is, you know how much you lied to this person. You know how much you manipulated them. You know how much you, um, you betrayed them. And... You're pretty sure they know too. That you don't feel worthy. You don't feel. Um, well, you're embarrassed. You're ashamed, and you don't think this person's going to show you compassion or forgiveness. And that's again where you're wrong. You're assuming, and not giving this person the chance to actually be the person that you know they are. Somebody could be a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody wants to defend themselves for the choices that they made. Or someone's defending you against a group of five people, six people. Could be a Leo or a Virgo, a Taurus or an Aries, a Virgo or a Libra. There could have been a Virgo, an Aries, and a Taurus who is now. There's a Leo going to come in and tell you what this, this Virgo, Taurus, and uh, Aries did to you. And the Leo was a part of it. And they're going to beg for your forgiveness. Because they see your worth now. And they wish they would have. They wish they would have stood by you. I'll stand by you. Even in your darkest hour. And I won't let nobody hurt you. I'll stand by you. Somebody wants to stand by you now. Because they know they should have stood by you the entire time. Um, be careful though because there might still be some manipulation here with the ma magician and the will of fortune both being in reverse um, this person might be doing this to try and get their uh, their luck restored or their blessings restored because they're losing because they went against you and you did nothing to them so just be careful I think this person does have genuine remorse but there's still a hidden agenda behind it too there's a group of friends who uh, made a bet that they could break you, um, and they broke themselves, and this might be one last ditch attempt to, yep, short-lived victory. They lost. They know they've lost. 
but this could be one last ditched attempt for one of these members to um, uh, this group of friends or family dynamic or whatever. Um, I'm getting sex cult. Could be a, um, a sex club where all these people have ha had orgies together um, and you wouldn't be a part of it, so they went against you. Definitely getting a swingers club. Um, and they thought because they'd all had sex together, they thought because they all were together against one person that they they would come out victorious. And they made a bet about it. Like, I, at least this could even be a group of friends who goes to Vegas together once a year. They love to gamble, love poker. Well, they gambled the wrong one this time. Touch not my anointed. This whole group learned you are a child of God and God don't play about you. Judgment in reverse. The lies, the slander, the false accusations, the false judgment that was placed on you. It's now coming out that these people were everything that they said you were. Somebody's 30, 35 years old. Somebody's 40 years old. Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could be a Libra. This injustice that was done to you. It's coming back to this group times 10. Someone's 31. Somebody's name is Billy. Someone made a decision without knowing all the facts and they were kept blindfolded. They were kept in the dark on purpose to see what they would do. They had two roads, two. They were at a fork in the road and they had two. They had to make a choice between two and they chose wrong. They could live by a body of water. Um, in a rural area, they could live in the mountains or they've been exiled to the mountains because this group of people um, exiled them because they, they didn't uh, complete the task that they uh, signed up for, which was screwing you over. Uh, they failed, and so now the group of people don't want you to do with them. They actually want you to be a part of the group now because they see how powerful you are. Something you thought was over is not over. Somebody's 48 years old. Somebody's 51. Somebody's name is Tammy. Someone's name is Leon. First, last, middle. Someone's name is Sammy. Jerome. Brandon, Jonathan, Art, Darnell, Larry, Lori, Somebody wants to marry you now because they see how powerful you are. Someone is Asian or lives in Asia or has lived in Asia or is from Asia. Um, or someone looks Asian. Someone could live by a volcano. Or the shit this group did the backfire is erupting like I mean it's, it's it, the backfire exploded like a volcano and um they're all being hit with sulfur and <laughs> burning 
debris. Every last one of these people is, is getting the karma they deserve. And it's all because of their greed and their childish bullying behaviors. These are grown adults who bullied somebody, who got together in a group and bullied somebody for money. Somebody paid them to, to go against this person, to hurt this person, to have sex with people. Yeah, greed, pride, and ego is what fueled this entire operation. And someone's, someone's stuck now. They are bound by their greed, their pride, and their ego. And that's why they won't talk to you. And their shame and their guilt too. Because it's been enlightened what they've done. How wrong it was. Who, who you are has been enlightened to them. And it's been enlightened that you did nothing to deserve the things that these people did to you. And this person's, they're in agony. They might not even be able to get out of bed. Oh yeah, tower. Somebody's a Scorpio. And somebody is facing the hardest lesson they've ever had to learn. And it's not easy. I mean, it's not, and it's only gonna get harder until this person makes amends because of you. God sent you into this person's life as a gift, as a blessing, and this person shit on you. And God don't play with you. He don't play about you. And this person is learning that the hard way because they refused. They were given ample amount of time and ample chances to make this right with you. And they never would. So now God has brought down the tower and this person's gonna learn the hard way. Could be a Gemini or a Cancer feminine who in the upright would be very loving, kind, nurturing, a good mother. Um, but in the reverse, she's anything but those things. She's the complete opposite of those things. She's hateful. She's judgmental. She's not a good mother. Um, She's vindictive. She's spiteful. She has no love in her heart whatsoever. She's very jealous and very envious. And she could have worked with two men to do this to you. Or there was three of them that were having a, a love triangle that went up against you. But there was other people involved too, as well. It's just there was three of them that were sleeping to get like that had a, like a three-way relationship, love, love triangle. Tabitha, Lester, Shayna, Sherry, Keelan. Columbus, Ohio, Chicago, Illinois, Muncie, Indiana, Maywood, Illinois. Ocala, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Worcester, Massachusetts, Fresno, California, Buena Vista, California, San Diego, California, Indianapolis, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, West Palm Beach, Florida, Abby, the lovers in reverse. This person now knows they chose the wrong lover. They should have picked you. You were the one that God sent to them as a gift, as a blessing, and they chose a witch bitch, possibly a Gemini. Carlton, Joshua, this person is healing though. So this 
Um, most of this could have already have happened. Uh, you just don't know about it because you weren't. God protected you and uh, moved you away from the BS so that you wouldn't be affected by it. It will all happen behind the scenes, and you just had to wait for this person to to heal so they would come to you. Yep. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person now knows that you were the Ten of Pentacles, not this other person. This other person lied to them, deceived them, used sex magic to tempt them away from you and convinced them that they had more money than you, convinced them that they were better than you, and now they realize that you were the Ten of Pentacles all along and that as long as they're with this person, they will be broke, busted, and disgusted. Jeremy... Michael, everything is being balanced out by God and the angels. You will have your happily ever after. You will have what God, what was written in the stars for you before you were born. Taurus energy and Sagittarius energy could have been a Taurus, a Sagittarius, and a Virgo who all work together, who claim to be independent, self-sufficient, um, beautiful women who were actually, they might have been beautiful on the outside, but they're very ugly on the inside. Katie, Tara, Robin, Jenny, Patricia, Ashley, Latissa, Ray, somebody's pregnant and doesn't know who the dad is. Because she was so focused on betraying you she betrayed herself. She was so jealous of you. And somebody talks to crows too. Somebody is a bona fide certified witch. This definitely could be a seaside town. Yeah. Your person now sees everything for the, the reality, now sees the reality of some bullshit and they are walking away from it all. They might do it at night. We are about to be under a blue moon. We are actually probably already in the energy right now. So I think the blue moon's on the 29th. Knight of Wands in the reverse. What this person went through with this witch bitch, it's what they had to go through in order to grow up and heal. Ouch. <laughs> My bad. Um, it made them see the error of their ways with being promiscuous with third party situations with orgies it made them realize how much their sex addiction was ruining their life and now they're running away from her and coming back to you and they're coming to you correct but they're really nervous that you're not going to accept them because they know what they did to you was shitball she might even actually be going to jail this woman's in stripes and she's in the reverse. Maybe that's why he hasn't been talking to you. Maybe, um, maybe he had to wait until all this played out before he could uh, approach you, make sure she went to jail so that she couldn't fuck with you guys anymore.
pair of font in reverse. And the Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles, I'm sorry. There's a Taurus here who left you out in the cold because of a sexual and drug addiction. But you are the High Priestess and he is the Hierophant. That's a divine, count, a divine couple, divine counterparts. As soon as this man heals, he will return to your life. Whether you want to keep him in your life or not is up to you. But he is your he is your DM. Brandon, Ara, Valerie, Victoria. October 3rd, October 5th. October 5th again. October 7th. March 11, uh, March 6th. Oh, wow. Huh. Oh, it's fucked up. For somebody, they chose your sister over you. If your sister's birthday is March 6th, this Taurus definitely chose your, chose your sister over you. Um, June 16th. Somebody is an immature Pisces. Or there's a younger Pisces involved. You will have your ultimate emotional fulfillment. Your happiness is coming. You need to do some healing too. I know what you went through is hard, but you're showing up in the reverse, so. Oh, you and the hair font both are in the reverse, wow. And you guys came out together like, like next to each other with the Ten of Cups. You guys do both really love each other. You're both very attracted to each other. You have a, an emotional connection, emotional bond that's unbreakable. But you're both in the reverse right now because God takes the strongest warriors through the fire, but he promises they will not burn. They will come out gold. And you guys are going through that process right now. And I'm being guided to, lead, to end it there. Love you. Love and light.